Hey everybody, this is another Arc Tutorial. For this screencast, I'm going to show you something that a lot of people ask about, and that's how to customize ArcMap with programming. This tutorial is a basic lesson, so you don't have to be a programmer. The first step to learning to customize ArcMap is creating your own toolbar. You work with toolbars all the time. The most common ones are called Standard and Tools, which I have open right now. You can find all the toolbars by clicking View, then Toolbars. Let's say you work with a lot of different tools, but they're all in different toolbars, and you don't want to have them all open because it clutters the screen. Well, you can actually create your own toolbar with just the commands you want. Start by clicking Tools, then Customize. Under the Toolbars tab, click New, name your toolbar, and in this case we'll call it My Toolbar, and save it in the map document. If you save it in the normal MXT, this will be saved in the default template and will be loaded each time, which might be something you want in the future, but not for this tutorial. The new toolbar appears, but it is blank, so we should add some commands. With the Customize window still open, go to the Commands tab and find the commands. Go to the File category and drag the Add Data button to the toolbar. Do the same for the Zoom In and Out in the Pan and Zoom category. We now have a toolbar with three of our chosen commands. You can go a little bit further and group similar commands. Right click on the first command in that group and click begin a group and a separator line will appear. That can be useful if you have a lot of commands in one toolbar. Let's say you wanted to write your own command instead of using one that is already provided. You could make a command that adds a raster and symbology at the same time or calculate the area of all polygons with one click. Anything that you find yourself doing over and over again should probably be a command. For this basic tutorial, I'm going to show you a simple message box program. We are going to create a button that displays a message every time it is clicked. In the Commands tab, scroll all the way down to the bottom and highlight UI Controls. Click New UI Control, make sure UI Button Control is chosen, and click Create. Change the name if you want, I'll name this one Hello. Now drag that button into the toolbar we created earlier. Right-clicking the button reveals a few options. We can change the image if we want. At the bottom of the menu is an option called View Source. Clicking it activates the Visual Basic Editor. Another way to get to this is through Tools, Macros, Visual Basic Editor. Code is written in VBA, which stands for Visual Basic for Applications. It's like Visual Basic, but not as robust. You should see the function that controls the Hello button click event. Code written between these lines will run every time the Hello button is clicked. We just want to display a simple message, so type Message Box, Hello World. Save the map document and close the editor. Now clicking the Hello button shows the message. This was a basic tutorial. If you want to continue learning, but you don't have any programming experience, I highly recommend the book Getting to Know Arc Objects by Robert Burke. In the next tutorial, I'll show you some more basics and also how programming can simplify your workflow. Feel free to email me with your questions or suggestions at arctutorials at gmail.com.